Hi, my name's Mary Ayers. I'm one of the senior living counselors here at Masonic Homes. This time of year is the best time to be able to tour our campus, and we're really sorry that you're not able to be here with us right now. So we thought we'd give you a real brief tour so that you can see the trees and flowers that are in bloom and get the experience of what our residents get to see every day that they're here. We're coming along the side of Meadow, and as you can see, we've got some, I think it's probably Sweet William that's in bloom, and the trees here are starting to bloom. Um, Meadow has had uh, plantings of um, some annuals, tulips, daffodils, those kind of things. We've got an azalea. And as we come on around, you're going to see uh, something that's not normally on the campus. We happen to have, and we're in a car at the moment, but the tent that is here, this is where the wellness screening is taking place every day as our residents, um, our employees arrive on campus. Uh, we're given a checklist of questions to answer and our temperature is taken. And so that is ensuring that our residents are staying safe because we're being wellness checked as we come to work every day. The building we're coming up on is Hepburn. This is one of the first buildings that was built when Masonic Homes moved here to the St. Matthews area in 1926. Uh, it was originally one of the dormitories for the orphans that lived here. The sign that's here says, Heroes Work Here. It's a company that has been bringing inspirational messages to us. Uh, as we are here at work on our campus. Uh, over in the background, you'll see a small garden. This is a Monarch way station that was put in last year. Ooh, red buds. Beautiful, beautiful red buds. We um, put in that Monarch way station. If you're a flower and uh, plant lover, um, monarchs are in a serious decline and so having places that they can lay their eggs and uh, get uh, fuel is a great thing to be able to do. Since the weather has turned nice, we have residents that are out walking and taking advantage of the wonderful 82 acres that are here. Uh, you just don't see a senior living community that has this kind of green space. So our residents really enjoy being able to get out and sit on a park bench and read a book and enjoy the space to walk. So as we come along the building, we're going to turn into the parking lot here. And you're probably going to wonder, well, why is she taking me into a parking lot? Well, it's because I want you to see this tree. The tree that is coming up in front of us is designated in the Kentucky, not this little big scrawny one, but the Kentucky Big Tree Program. Oh, you can't really see it. That tree limb's in the way. Oh well. It is a slippery elm. And it is believed to be the largest, the oldest of its species in North America. So pretty cool that we have something. I mean, just think about how old that is if it's the largest in all of North America. And pretty cool that here on our campus we would have something as significant as that. And there's another tree in front of the Olmstead building that is believed to be the largest and the oldest in Kentucky. So we'll whip you right back around here and continue on our way. Um, back out here to the main drag, but this gives you a beautiful shot of what I call the Great Lawn. Don't know what anybody else calls it, or if it even has an official name. The building here that we're going past is another one of our uh, historical buildings on the campus where the widows live. These were called cottages. And now the building coming up on the right is Garnett. 
and you'll notice when we get to the front it looks very much like a school. Well that's because it is, or was. This is the school where the orphans were educated for the longest time. Uh, and so the front here looks very much like a school building. So it has lots of those really great tall windows uh, and lots of light that gets into the apartments that are there. So just more cottages that come along here, but you'll notice tables and chairs. Again, areas where our residents can get out and enjoy being out of doors. Um, our groundskeeping crew here does a fabulous job. Um, they are so on it as far as keeping everything pristine and planting the annuals that are appropriate for the season. This campus was laid out by the Olmsted brothers, the same people that did our park system here in Louisville and Central Park in New York City and many other places. These are trees that were originally planted. Uh, they're tulip poplars, but they're done with their blooms. The building on the right is Grove Point. This is our brand new assisted living community. It opened uh, in the summer, uh, early fall of 2018, along with uh, Meadow. The building here is where our clinic is. This is something that our residents can come to on an urgent care basis and employees can take advantage of as well. The end of our tour brings us to the Olmsted building. This is another one of those iconic buildings on our campus as it was originally the dining hall for the children and widows when they lived here. Everybody probably has been to this building for an event, a wedding reception, something um, that's a milestone in your life. When you come to meet with the marketing team, this is where you'll come. And there's a door right there if you can see the tops of the doors. Over the top of it, it says girls. They kept the girls and the boys separated on campus. But that's where you'll come to meet with us at the marketing office. And lastly, a very special sculpture that's here on the campus. This was donated by the Alumni uh, Orphan Association, or probably should say the Orphan Alumni Association, and it was to uh, commemorate the love and care that they received when they lived here. But just look at this glorious place. Imagine having all of this at your disposal. So thanks for joining us in our tour, be well and we hope we'll see you soon.